I join you? Uh, it appears you already have. Well, if you want me to leave, then I... No, 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 you're, you're fine. I can use the company. Is everything okay? Not really. No. Is there anything that I can help with? Kick me. What? No, seriously, kick me. I deserve it. Okay. First of all, I would never kick you, even if you did deserve it. And second, I doubt that you do. Oh, I'm sitting here like a selfish ass, feeling neglected and misunderstood while everyone around me is bleeding and devastated. You know, it's just it's nauseatingly self-involved. In case you haven't noticed, I'm the queen of selfish. I feel sorry for myself all day, every day. You know, I know it's pointless and shallow, but I do it anyway. So, feel free to wallow without being judged. You know, I, uh, I like to think of myself as a generous person. You know, I'm not a do-gooder by any stretch, but I, I do lend a hand when there's need of one. Uh, I try to forgive the faults in others because I have so, so many of my own. I'd agree with all that. So when, uh, when Maya got a call from her family that she was needed back home, I was more than supportive. I, I drove her to the airport and I wished her well. Wait, Maya's gone? Maya is an exemplary human being. She's smart, loyal, ambitious, and, you know, part of what drives her is that she's a ward. You know, she wants to live up to the family legacy, and so it only makes sense that when her family needed her, she'd be there. What happened? <sighs> no idea. You know, the wards appear to be closing ranks, and uh, no outsider is welcome. And that definitely includes her fly-by-night husband, who I am increasingly sure she's neglected to mention. Maya's family doesn't know that you're her husband? Uh, no, she never brought up introducing me to the family. And any time the wards come up, she changes the subject. Maybe she's embarrassed. Yeah, that would make sense. You know, they're whole family of doctors and lawyers. <laughs> What's she gonna say? This is my husband, the sometime bartender. I didn't mean that Maya would be ashamed of you. I mean, how could she be? You're awesome. Well, that's very kind. It's also very true. You might care a little bit that Maya got so drunk that she accidentally married you without knowing. <laughs> and if I did that, um... My mother would lose her mind. <laughs> As opposed to your father, who would actually just kill the scoundrel who took advantage of you. I would never let my father kill you, Ethan. Oh, wait, you hold it right there. Now, who says I am the scoundrel who hypothetically gets you, drags you to Vegas for drunken matrimony? And, you know, now that I think about it, if anybody did that to you, I would kill them myself. All right, so, no, you're not going to Vegas ever. I forbid it. Okay. Okay. I'm glad that's settled, because I was... Sorry to hear myself, and I, you know, I'm, I do want to protect you, but I'm, I don't, I'm not a rescuer of damsels in distress. But you are. You rescue me all the time. Uh, well, no, if you're referring to the aftermath of the Sunny Brenda wedding... Well... I'm referring to everything. The way you listen to me, how you don't judge, um, and how you forgave me after that lie that almost got you killed. Okay, okay. stop it right there. You're making me sound disgustingly noble. When really, I am just a, a liar and a thief, and I wouldn't trust me as far as you could throw me, and I get... Oh, okay. Oh, what was that for? I thought you said you weren't going to kick me. I changed my mind. You shouldn't do that to yourself. I was just being honest. Well, I happen to think you're amazing. Well, okay. I don't know if it's the kind words or the searing pain in my leg, but I'm no longer wallowing in self-pity, so thank you. I think. You're welcome.